Let's get to the real important parts of life. I got a buddy who likes to say it's important if he works all the time. Kind of like I do. He keeps he says this because he wants to remind himself and me that we need to try to remember this. He says, work to live, don't live to work. Work to live, don't live to work. The most important part of life is everything else. What did Remington Walden lose? He lost everything. Family, friends, activities, the joys of learning and growing up. He lost all the big things, maybe military service, education, dating, marriage, children. That's an overview of what he lost. I won't talk about what he lost. Because I think it's important to remember. Mr. Kerbo got up here and referred to the Georgia's wrong for death uh, statute as a, quote, crazy little concept, close quote, crazy little concept. I've written articles about it. I think it's one of the noblest things I've ever read. In this society, we sanctify human life so much that if somebody is killed due to the fault of another, the measure of damages is the value of the dead person's life, not the dying lizard, but the person who died to himself. What did he lose? He lost the childhood of Christmas morning, ball games, tennis, spending time with his mom, spending time with his dad, enjoying their love and their embraces. He will never know the joy and experience, the joy and heartbreak of his first love. He will never enjoy the years of dating. He will never enjoy learning to drive, getting a driver's license, and feeling that freedom to go. He will never know the joy of hearing that one special girl say yes. He will never know what it's like to hear his wife telling him he's going to be a father. He will never get to hear his parents say, Remy, we are so proud of you. He will never become his own man and learn to learn from his own mistakes. He will never get to experience the satisfaction of earning his first paycheck. He will never get to feel the joy of being a useful contributor to his family, to his community, and to his country. He will never get a chance to build and carry through an entire life his own group of friends and enjoy their time together. He will never feel lost and grow from it. He will miss what most of us try not to take for granted each day, a cup of coffee and sunshine, a beer, a glass of wine, a meat and wine, some hard liquor, <laughs> and sunset. He misses all those things. One of my favorite movies is Lonesome Dove, where Gus McCall talks about a warm glass of buttermilk in the morning and a feisty old gentleman like myself. Real Walden will never know either. He'll never know the joy of becoming a feisty old gentleman, which is not a bad thing. He'll never get to watch his children grow up and live their lives. What is a life worth? What was his life worth? Nobody can really know. But anything was possible for this young man. He was smart. He was energetic. He was full of life. He was a kid. The kid with a permanent smile on his face. Nobody can know what he would have made in terms of money, and nobody can know what he would have meant to his community and country in non-monetary terms. But we do know this. He lost it all, and Christ took it from him. We know this. Also, we live in, we have the good luck to live in a society that values life. Where if somebody is adrift in the ocean on a boat, it doesn't matter who they are, how old they are, or what their station of life is, the Coast Guard's going to come after them, no matter what comes. Where we spend billions of dollars as taxpayers to protect the lives of astronauts. We live in a society that values life. You are the conscience of the community. What life means is for you to decide. What importance you attach to it, making a corporation face up to and accept responsibility is for you to decide. I know, and we all know, what Remy would have done if he had been presented with the opportunity on March 6, 2012. But if the word really went through to any of he would have said, I choose life. 